Hello everybody, welcome back to the Adam Turner Road to the Show series, episode 208. We're making good progress this season. We start off the year 6-3, and three, and now we go on to face Boston one more time. They're at 4-5, and five, and two games behind us. We're first in the division. We're feeling good. Adam's hitting phenomenal, over 400 so far in the early season. We're going to play just the Boston series today because I don't have much time. I also have to record the Max video today because I'm moving in tomorrow and I won't have time to record it there, but we're not going to miss an upload day. So Boston series today, we've faced Boston many times in the past 67 games and here are stats against them. We hit pretty well against them. They do have a lot of lefties though, so that's tough, but other than that, we uh, feel pretty good. Let's get into it. Contact cap. Power doesn't really need it. Play vision might. Hmm. Durability and clutch could be good. But I think I'm gonna go with the plate vision cap or the plate discipline cap to get to 76. Maybe we can get a trial. No, we cannot. We'll hit third today against this lineup. Jonas Gonzalez will be on the mound. We have Kevin Nesbitt. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hopefully we can win this series. Versus divisional opponents, that's the main series, you know, we really want to win and we need to win. So, their lineup has struggled so far, especially the middle with Benintendi, Bryant, Devers, Cabrera, Adam Frazier. It's been a struggle for them. Let's go. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. Major League Baseball on MLB Network, coming up right after this. Kevin Nesbitt, a left-handed... Nesbitt had a first good, uh, good first start, and he's off to a good start today. Only four pitches thrown from this guy here to start the inning, so we're going to make him throw a first pitch strike. This guy's name is Jonas Gonzalez. He's a 23-year-old, 77 overall. That's some decent potential. I don't know what his potential stat is. Last start, the first of his major league career, so I'm sure he's still riding high from that achievement. This is a little high. Doesn't throw too hard. Getting pitched to very carefully. It doesn't matter that there's two outs and nobody on. He's a threat to score even. Filthy changeup would have been ball three, but we get fooled. Two two. That changeup misses. Josh Bell's on deck, so if we can get on, we have a chance of scoring. Fouled it off, and we worked Gonzalez to throw over 10 pitches this inning at least. Change up got us. That's a really good pitch. Well, they have one on. Oh, up the middle, base hit. Up the middle. And that's through into center, so the first two have reached here to start the second. You don't All right then, bad bad start to the second for Kev. What the count is, they're looking to line up. Three two. I'm gonna come in a little bit in case it's a single up the middle. And it's actually a shallow fly ball. One down. Happy we came in a little bit there. Looks like he got out of the inning. And he's got a two out runner here. And we got a guy going second. Being super aggressive. But it does not pay off for him. A strange choice on the two out single. And he gets thrown out. We've got Yandy Diaz on second with two down. We're up one. We're down at 400 now. Down at 400. That's a weird thing to say. We've been off to a really good start this season. Ball two. A couple fastballs missed pretty poorly. First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. 
And he misses again. There's absolutely no need to challenge him in this situation right here. Do yourself a favor. While we're swinging, if it's in anywhere uh, good for us to hit. And it wasn't. That's a good pitch by Gonzalez. He will force a hitter's count of 3-1. And we take that one just a little more inside than over the plate. And we'll take that walk. Josh Bell steps up. He is... One for one with a double. That's hit well. That's going to get down in the gap. And Josh Bell has knocked home two. And this game is three to zero. Not the hardest hit ball, but it does the job very well. Yandy Diaz easily scores along with Adam. Josh Bell will give us a nice lead. You have a chance to extend it a little, e a little more even. Down the line, foul. Change up fooled me. We hit it hard, but foul. Deep into right center, and that is a 4 nothing game. Diaz making his way around third, and is 5 nothing. A 2 RBI triple from Adam pushes our lead out to 5. And the Rays are off to a good start today. Not a chance even that if that was on the line, they were going to get Diaz. That's going to do it for Gonzalez's day. On the mound now is Jonathan Loisiga. I don't know how to say his name. Fouled off. Bell has 11 RBIs on the air. He's killing it in that category. We need you to get your 12th here, man. The 2-2. And he does just that. On the ground, a second Frazier has it, but it is 6-0 Tampa Bay. Well done. Still up 6-0. I don't have a problem with it. We get to go to Blake Snell and then Tylon next game. This guy is known for being a down and in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. One and one the count. Huh. Now the pitch. Pulled toward right center. That's field. actually well hit. He's gonna chase it down though. It down. I thought we might have gotten it over his head, but I was mistaken. And Nesbitt threw a great seven innings. Panoni will end this game. That's gonna get down though. In there. Ninth inning, two out single, but we get the win. Let's go, boys. Well done. We get the shutout. We do. 7-0 here today. And a good game by a lot of guys. We were one for three with a walk and a two RBI triple. Josh Bell had three RBIs with two doubles. Tim Washington hit himself a homer. Blake Swihart against his former team goes two for four. Jonas Gonzalez will get that loss. Nesbitt threw a great game, and he gets the seven-inning win. And the Rays throw a shutout. Our clutch is pretty close to 77. That's an exciting time. We'll probably get that in the recent future. And we will pinch hit for game two. Score down one on the mound. Matt Barnes throws hard. And this is taken outside for ball one. Five runs, eleven hits, and no error. Gotta get on base. And he watches one miss outside two and oh now. He's missed twice. Swinging hard if it comes over the plate. Thought it was a fastball high. 
as their closer starts to two one and we just pop it out dang drop it and the pinch hitter will not be able to advance two down and we'll turn that off to now nah, let's just keep it on and we win off a walk off from Joey Wendell let's go boys we win 8-7 Dan Winkler blows the save and of course we will take that and we'll move on to game 3 of the series with a chance to go ahead and take it and I know Jameson's on the mound. Let's go. You know when he's on the mound. It's a problem for the other team a lot of the time. Eduardo Rodriguez takes the mound for the Red Sox. That also tells me Snell didn't pitch great yesterday. But that's fine. Missed a couple times. Great cutter. Strike one. Hitters count. Diaz on first. He's definitely not going to steal. Great fastball. Hasn't really give us, given us anything to hit. We will foul that off way early on a 95 mile per hour fastball. Maybe a little more patience. Deep left, but Benintendi has it. Two down. Down 3-1. Tylon. Uh-oh. Not doing too well. Let's come in a little bit. Not a good jump. That's all you, Braden. One down. This is Bad News Bears. Change up fouled off. The wind up and the 0 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the time run to the plate, even though it's early on. You got a guy on deck that has a This is a couple times. Misses three times. And now Bell is on deck. It's a really good fastball. Okay. Good job turning on it. It's going to be foul. Seventh pitch of the at-bat incoming. Timed it well. But uh, Bogarts has it. Stepping in, Dan. Tad on struggling today. The one two. Hit in the air to center field. Turner is there to put it away and the runner will be. Easy play out in center. We've got two down here in the fourth. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He's coming a little bit in case it's a base hit up the middle. No, it is a pop up. To right center, a little more towards straight away. Easy play, still down two. And we're tied, let's go. We're 0 for 2 today though. So let's turn this thing around. That will do it, that's deep. He takes a bad jump on it, but I think he's got it out in center. Balls don't travel great here in Tropicana, and we don't have the most power against the lefties. That'll... Uh, that'll make us 0 for 3 on the day. Talon's still on the mound. He turned a tough start into a decent one. Good job.
We're also now up six to three. Speed forty-four. And now it's six four. Good play, Tim. It was your ball anyway. I didn't get a good jump on it. I gotta stop coming in. Digging in once again, Adam Turner. He flew out in his last at bat. And a bit too high with that one. It's one and oh. Who's on the mound? Ryan Dole. Pitch on the way. Two and oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging <laughs> Too well. the pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Ball would have been gone if we could have uh, just waited a little more. Now the two one. Now a swing and a fly ball, ball would have been down the line if we could have just waited a little more. <laughs> And we do get a base hit today. We turn on a changeup. It was a little too high in the zone for Dole. More one for four. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Runners off for second. And Bell will strike out. We were going. Can we hold it? We're up by four now. This is Brooke Valentine on the mound, or Valentine. The young kid. Pop out. I got it. Don't worry about it. And that will do it for today's game. Let's go, boys. That's a series win, and we'll go for the four-game sweep over our division rivals, the Boston Red Sox. But the results sure speak for themselves. 8-4 tonight. Tampa Bay wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Jamison Tyon earns the It's Tyon. Okay. Thank you. Tyon gets his win. Gave up three earned in six innings. With only one strikeout, Valentino will get a save in two innings. Jonathan Loisiga. Loisiga? I should know that name. Loisiga gets the loss. And, um,. We'll move on to game four. Let's go. Apologies, this is going to be a shorter video. It's just how it has to be. Just for today. Just for today. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good match. All right, we've got Clevenger on the mound. He's had a weird start to the year. He was a Cy Young candidate last year. That will get through. Two on. They do not score. We will face Herb Tyler, who is a 76 overall 24-year-old. Tough pitch there. Good change up. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped Strike two. six straight coming in. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. At times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent. Two, two. Particularly from a pitcher standpoint. Two balls and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. Force it full. What's our batting average now? 381. It's going to drop. It's going to continue to. You find yourself down 0-2. You work it to even, and now up the middle. Base hit. There you go. Make the turn. Have a look. Oh no no no. Oh, we could have gotten there. Dang. Could still try to steal our base. Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone. Grab your glove and flash some leather. Runners on the move for second. Bell fouls it off. We're going to go one more time here. Oh, he got us. Shoot. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a pickoff. 
Striding in, Dan Prater, as he'll get his first opportunity. First time we get picked off this year. Popped up. That gets down. It's one to one. We've got two on. I don't contact swing and I don't power swing. We don't have two on. So we just choose hit a home run. A one. Hits the bottom left quadrant. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's That's a great curveball. Now we're already down 0-2. He's got us with the off speed pretty well right now. He's got our beat. Missed a little low. One two. Up the middle, base hit. And we've got two hits on the day. Nicely done. Let's try to take this bag. Got the bag. Don't swing. Oh, that's perfect. We will take third. They got in and get in their cut and look at home now. Well done, Josh Bell. Good hit and run. Love having Josh Bell here in Tampa Bay. Jose Martinez steps up. 1-1. One, one. Strike two. Great contact out of Jose. 85 to be exact. He is playing... I think he's DHing all time. Alright, Jose. He struck out, man. That's the last thing we needed there. And if Arcia can just put it not in double play depth. Fouls, up, fouls it off, 2 2. Don't strike out either. How's Arcia done this season? Eh. Not phenomenal. It's going to be close. Nope. An easy turn. And it's tied at 1-1 still. Shoot. Got to help our guy Mike out a little more than this. Two down. Two are gone here to start the fifth. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Xander Bogarts. We'll see if All right, Xander. Spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. That's going to be down. Long run for the center fielder. He can't get That's going to score one. Will continue. The runner from second crosses the plate. Maybe if we played that a little bit better, but I don't know. On the mound now is Thomas Pannoni. Is it Pannoni or Pannone? I don't know. They were running, but we jog into this one and grab it. Down one though, we gotta come back. Gotta put one on the board. We're two for two today. And we pop out, two for three. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that. Digging in, Travis Jankowski. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Still down to. Oh, oh, almost took a bad jump on that. But no. I don't know who we have on the mound right now. It's at Beaks. All right, we got to get on here. I think I'm going to bunt against Paul Fry. It's a good one, and we are easily on. Okay, the stolen base is not necessary. We don't need to steal base. Josh Bell is the tying run. Don't even try to pick me off. He's not looking at us, so we can take it. Got the bag that he fouls it off. All right, 
Let's hold it first here. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. It's popped up. We got to go back now. And we're fine. It's a good thing Adam's fast. All right, Jose, 3 1. We go. We'll take second. Up the middle, and we completely ruined that one. Uh, we do get a loss. Clevenger will get it. Herb Tyler pitched well. Paul Fry gets the save. We were three for four with three singles. Pretty good day for Adam, but not a great day for the team. It's just unfortunate. But we've got decent. Uh, we've got a decent record to show for today. Three and one. A coach challenges a player to continue. To and we'll work on our power. Never hurts to beat on a division rival very often. Seven zero eight seven eight four one, and the loss one three. We get Seattle next time out. They're six and seven. We are now two and a half games in front of the Yankees. Then we get to face Milwaukee, Kansas City, Detroit. We'll just see how it goes. Right now we're hitting four thirteen. Crazy numbers right now for Adam. And the award for MVP right now is going to him. James McCann is second. William Thomas, the guy I traded, um, they, the, the guy they got for us is third. All right, Joey Wendell, batting title. We in there? No. We have the Hank Aaron Award. We're third in this. We don't have an assist yet. And we're first in Silver Slugger Outfield. Okay, well, that's going to do it for today. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, so that is Adam Turner, episode 208 in the books.